Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm going to cover the customs map. I'm going to go over all the like major loot locations, the keys that are handy to have, uh, some of the danger areas, some of the cheeky locations, just everything I can help say to help you out and show you to help you out when you're new to the game. Um, I'm putting out all these videos into one playlist, so if you're um, new to the game or you've got a friend that's new and you want to help them out by showing them some information, uh, be sure to share it uh, with them. But guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Alright, so now we're in customs. So for all the customs map, uh, there is two sides you'll spawn on. This is the customs side, the other side being the boiler side. You'll actually have to come over to this side of the map to extract. Now, there's uh, different extracts on each side of the map. This side has technically four main extracts, but only um, two of them are always active. Uh, if you're spawning on the custom side, you'll uh, be able to go to the other side, which will have uh, three main extracts, but only one of them is always active. So uh, if you spawn on this side, this area is probably the worst side. Like if you get down here, this is all the trailer park ex extract. So if you're spawning on the other side, trailer park this side. Uh, the other side over there is crossroads, right up next behind that van. Uh, that is the crossroads extract. Now, uh, this side here is the customs area. Uh, you can call it whatever you want, really. Now, if you spawn on this side, you need to take a little bit more cautious. There is a lot of um, spawns you've got to run through to get over to the other side of the map. So, um, from here, over there, it's a good idea to come in here, particularly if you're very starting the game and you're still after some meds. Inside the back of this cart is a med bag. This is one of the med bags I always loot um, early on. So Lay was uh, one of the first items you need for a quest. There is a duffel bag in here if you want to pick up some duffel bag stuff. And then from there, um, you can move on this way. Now, I'm sure there are some duffel bags and stuff throughout this area. You can get up on the roof of these, um, of these storage units. Um, I'll just show you a jump that I used to do a lot of. And I don't really do it much anymore. But I'll probably stuff it. There you go. So you're up. Now, if you're up here and you've got a, yourself a scope, you can actually shoot at people that are trying to unlock that door from here. Um, and you can actually get up here and take those shots. Besides so that, um, this is usually pretty hectic at the start, but most people try and get away from here and move over to the other side of the map into uh, construction in the other areas as soon as possible. Some things to point out uh, for people on this map. If you spawn on this side, the East 310 key spawns in this bus uh, on the right-hand side about halfway down. It's like one of these one of these three seats. Um, East 310 is like the money room of Shoreline. Definitely something worth checking out. Now, coming over this side, both the blue huts on both sides from uh, the big red warehouse have filing cabinets in there. I think one's got a jacket, the other one's got a duffel bag, so... There's some options in there. Inside Big Red, there is a weapon crate at the back left. Um, to get inside the top, you need the customs key. There's two ways of getting customs key. Pretty much, well, three. Three ways of getting the customs key. Um, Foley cabinets, scav backpacks, and there's a gold chain barter. Uh, the weapon crate's down the back. Up at the top, the first room has three computers and a duffel bag. The second room has a computer. No, it doesn't have a computer. It has a safe. A, um, a key spawn for shoreline which is a useful key to get and also um, there's a backpack spawn in there so not a bad little actual key to get uh, to loot but definitely worth uh, checking out so obviously there was the filing cabinets in here I don't want to go through every little spot just because it will uh, make it quite difficult for you to retain it all but for this side of the map that's pretty much everything you need to know just remember that's the uh, extract out there for crossroads and then running this way. Now, there's the train the long, the whole way across. You can jump up on the uh, on top of the train just in here by going on the boxes. Um, sometimes it works if you run up to this, you press X. It's not working on that one. Some of them work where you can actually just press X to go prone and X again to go unprone, and you'll be able to get out from underneath straight away. It works really good uh, for getting away quickly underneath the trains. Inside here, there's a weapon box. Uh, it's a handy one to have if you're looking for an AK. Sometimes you'll get that. These are all the land crossings. I, I would say just land crossing mid land. And this is um, junk crossings. It's totally up to you what you call them. It doesn't really make any difference. This one seems to be a lot more hectic uh, more often than not. Now over here you have an, one of the possible extracts for the other side. This one is smuggler's boat. This doesn't always 
it's not always active, but if there's a fire lit, you can extract from the other. If you spawn on bullet side, coming this way, the smuggler's boat is an option. And then if you see the light on over there, that is the RUAF extract. This whole side here is, um, in this area, here's the construction. On the right-hand side, there is the elbow. I'll get up to it in a second. Now, inside here, uh, there's some jackets in there if you want to loot it. They're down there. There's some weapon crates. It's not really a big deal. Uh, there is a... I'll go show you this. It's not a big one, but it's handy. You're going to need this key anyway uh, for a quest, but it gives you an option. So there's always this dead scav in here. has the unknown key on him. But you can get some other items of use from him. Uh, seeing the unknown key. There is um, also other items will spawn on him. Through here, this is elbow. What do you want to call it? I call it elbow. A duffel bag here. This is not a good spot to enter. I, I personally do not go into construction via this way. Personally, I think it's better to go anyway than this way because it's just a, too much of a choke point. You can get bottlenecked in. If you shoot at a scav from down there, you, there's a squad coming up here. They'll just instantly cut you off here and have someone go around the back. Avoid that area at all costs unless you're trying to extract and it's later in the raid and you're trying to run through. This is construction. You can call this one tower. Um, overall, there's not a lot of loot spots in here, but it's, it's definitely scav heavy and it's quite good for getting your scav kills. Atop this tower, it's very dangerous. What I would highly recommend, if you are going to peek, don't leave the staircase. It's a lot harder to hit a headshot on someone moving up and down than it is someone just moving up here from left to right. So... If you're having a peek, peek to see if there's scavs out by the uh, ice cream hut, this is your option. Now, there are uh, some cheeky little tricks you can do here. You can actually jump over from this and go straight over. So, you need to get away. That's a good getaway. You've got coming up here. I'll show dorms in a minute. Running down this way. Um, there's nothing I've ever seen spawn in any of these buses except for one down the far end. Um, so you don't need to stress too much about that. Mostly just scav spawns in here. Just in here, hug the wall side. There is an ammo box and also a duffel bag if you need it. You can get some cheeky kills through here. It's very risky because obviously you got the one exit from the area. Moving down into this spot here. Um, there's not really a lot of loot in this whole construction area, but it is uh, combat heavy because of how many scavs. Up the top here, the portable cabin key to the factory zone unlocks this one. Go inside here, there is a uh, weapon crate down the bottom here, and there's a quest item here. So if you find, pretty much if you find every key in the game, you want to save one of every key. I'll put a link down below to all the keys. Uh, there's got a, I've got a priority key guide um, for that, and you can check out all the keys there. On where to loot them, the priority ones, and then there's other key guides for other maps that are, are more pertinent. Now moving down this way, all you need to go is down here. Now you can go through the um, the factory zone and come out here. Just be wary that it's quite risky. I should show you another cheeky jump and uh, well uh, position you can get some shots off. I wouldn't stress too much if you're um, in this area about going up here. But just, it's, it's a nice little spot to get some, some shots off. Check to see if someone's up on the bridge and without overexposing. And you can get in and out from here. Um, if you've got your stamina up and you want to do a, a surprise jump if someone you think is camping there, you can come up here and jump over and then shoot them across like that. I've done it a couple of times. It's not one of the most safest ways to uh, engage on someone, but it's definitely got some style points if you're interested in some style points. Now moving down here... You have uh, a few options. This is probably... Well, this is the first location I'll show you for the scav boss to spawn. And when the scav boss spawns, he'll spawn uh, as the one main scav boss being Rashala. Rashala. And then uh, you'll have four minions. His minions throw grenades like crazy and do lots of damage. Just be careful. If you're going to try and engage him from a distance, the hill on the other side is a lot better. Uh, that hill on the other side is a new area. And uh, so it's something that's kind of cool to um, know about there's not a lot of spawns but i'll show you a couple that i've found now the back of this uh on this chair as you can see here is the mess key this is the key you're going to need for a quest in interchange but it's definitely a handy key to check 
And there's also meds that spawn on the ground there. Going in here, um, this is a cabinet key and a storage key. If you get the cabinet key, it goes in here. There's a safe on the left. Underneath the desk, uh, the storage key spawns for this storage room here. There's two med bags in there. Inside here, you've got the four cash registers that are handy. Um, and sometimes back here, you'll find meds as well as some of the um, cigarettes and barter items. Moving out to the back, you do have opportunity to get uh, the Goshen key in here. It sells for a shitload of money. Always check it. It's on one of these chairs. I can't remember which one. I check all four just to be safe. Um, but that sells for about a million rubles and it's needed for a quest. If you do get in, into combat with scavs, I'll see if I can find the clip and add it to the video here. But you can actually shoot scavs from underneath and just take out their legs. Be careful though. They will, they will light you up. Uh, but there's a bit of a cheese way to of getting them moving up on top of the hill here uh, you've got a couple options to get up but i'll just go the most fastest route that i know uh, just being this one here there are a couple of spawns down in the boiler side that you can uh, check out but now we'll start up here inside here is a med bag this, this map has a lot more med bags than it used to and it's really handy and um any way of getting meds is really handy. So, uh, on top of here, you'll find plenty of magazines. Some of them have ammo as well, which is handy. Weapon crate right here, and also another weapon crate over here. So, if you're spawning in as a hatchet, you can sometimes pick up a gun and some meds without even having to go and fight anyone. Um, so, if you spawn up on the top of the hill here, run over to here, check those two weapon crates, you might get lucky for an AK, and then get some meds. Running down the hill, now you can snipe from up here if you're after a long range snipe quest. Taking shots from the top of the hill. Here, you can get the range kills. Also, uh, getting the scavs, the scav boss and his minions. They do spawn out the back here. Going prone. Um, I've killed him plenty of times up here and gotten... Uh, it's, I haven't even been shot at, so... It's nice to know. Um, moving over here. This is the checkpoint. Now, to get the... You need to get the checkpoint key to go inside the door. It's, it's not a big deal inside there. There's a couple of weapon racks. And some med, uh, sorry, meds, um, ammo crates. But on this side here, this, uh, sorry, this car, this jacket always spawns meds or a 114 key. It probably won't show me the key right now. But there's always meds here or the 114 key or both. Um, so it's always worth looting this if you're uh, wanting to top up your meds. Now over the back here, there isn't a lot of spawns that I've found. Mostly junk and I think a duffel bag. So it's, it's worth checking out if you really want to. Um, previously, there was an M4 spawn in here. I haven't seen it in a long time. But on the right here, there was an M4 spawn uh, in the in the blue cabinets. I haven't seen it in a long time. But there are some barter trade uh, spawns down in the back here on the shelves if you're after that kind of thing. There's some painkillers. Moving over to this side. Um, I'm going to be showing you all this in reverse. But <clears throat> the main extract that's always available if you spawn on the custom side is this one down here there's a bunker with the door open you can go straight down that door and extract at the end of it not very far down um be careful camping people camping up here or in that bush there but i haven't seen as many extract campers as i used to but there's always the risk but always be careful of that inside here i call i think it's called factory seven it is what it is. There is a uh, checkpoint key spawn. I think it's on the on the uh, couch here or here. But there's a the scav spawn there. Toolbox there on the uh, top of here. This one on this side. Weapon crate right there. Good chance of getting an AK with some ammo. Here is one of the most fun spots early in the white. Uh, factory key spawn is right there. And then up the top here, another weapon box. Good for uh, your weapon crates and uh, loot there. Now moving this way. You can run through here. This train cart has some uh, some loot spawns. Oh, actually, before I miss this one, because I know everyone will be like, why didn't you say about the van? Early on, you're after a thing called a flash drive. They do spawn sticking out of computers. There is two computers here that seem to spawn it quite often. Um, you can lean to the right using your E button, and you can actually see that, but you can loot both of them. Sometimes you'll see a flash drive sticking out the front. If you get a hands on one of them, it sells for a bit, need it for a quest. Moving up here, there is the duffel bag. A 220 key spawns underneath here. It's worth checking early uh, to, to get. And also, there's a quest item spawns there when you're up to the quest on the chemical series. 
So it's worth knowing about those locations. Coming over the fence here, you can jump straight over. Um, if you've got a very high level strength, you can sometimes jump from there over the fence. I don't see it very often anymore. Um, so this is the... Uh, what's it called? The ZB. I think it's the 012. You won't know until you... It's the 012. So you can extract there if you want. There is also the, uh, <clears throat> the scav and also the ammo box there. Only if the light's on, you can extract there. Sometimes it's bugged out. Um, there is a weapon crate in there uh, towards the left-hand side in the back. And then coming down this way, inside this warehouse, there's an entrance on the side there. In that, that right-hand corner there, there's a weapon crate. There's a weapon crate on the far right-hand wall here on top of a thing. On top of a, uh, like a container, I guess. Right, there's a weapon crate. There's also uh, a jacket and some, some trader barter spawns here. Moving up this way, this is called Old Gas Station. <clears throat> the scavs here can be quite brutal, but it's definitely worth checking this out when you get the opportunity. Um, there's the spawns in the back of there. There's a weapon crate on the other side of that sandbags there. Coming through here. Now, inside the Old Gas Station, this is one of the uh, spawns that can happen. The, sorry, the extracts you can get at... If there's green smoke here, you can extract. Now, on top of this table here where this mag is, any item in the game can spawn here. I have pretty much seen videos of every single item, from fort armors to pistol cases. I think the only thing I haven't seen is, like, item cases. Item cases, weapon cases, the only ones. But helmets, I got a fast MT the other day, docks cases, key bars, everything can spawn here. Um, the extract's just down there if it's available. Moving down this way, you can run straight through here. Jump the fence here. And there's a med bag back here. So as you can see, there's a fair few med bags here if you need it to the top of the meds. Good to go there. Now running back this way. We will find... Da -da -da, more of uh, the places within customs go. Oop, don't hit that wire. I'm just going to fast forward up here so you don't have to watch that. Just to the other side of this bush here, there is a weapon crate. Now, you can go around the back of that, and it'll just take you to exactly where I started fast-forwarding, but um, in the back of these cars, this one in particular, you can open it up, and there's an oil logistics key that spawns there. You need the factory key to get through these doors. I'll show you what's on the other side. I'm going to show you a quick little cheeky jump anyway, so you don't even need this key. So there's a weapon box in there, and there's a filing cabinet in here. Um, I've never really checked anything else to see this one there. Now, if you... Don't have the factory key, don't worry. You can either just run up here and jump over like that if you want to sprint, but you don't even need a sprint, and you can do this at level one with level one strength and, and endurance. Straight over like that, and bam. Bob's your uncle, you're over the fence. And show you this, um, how to get back the other way. A little cheeky spot here. If you know there's people down at uh, Old Gas, I'm gonna take a shot. There's an opportunity to do it there. And moving down this way, if you don't have the key, you can jump over the fence here. A nice little way to get to the extracts or farm the scavs. Um, but yeah, straight up on that. Straight over like that. You take a little bit of damage, but a little bit of damage can be easily healed and you can uh, move on. Now I'm going to fast forward the next little bit and so I can show you the dorms. There's not really much I need to explain on the way over there. Alright, so just so you know, um, where this duffel bag is... So two-story dorms is just on the other side of this hill just down there. And then that's the hill that overlooks towards the uh, train tracks and there's a bus depot down there. This duffel bag here, right where this log hits here, I always check it. There's a chance for a uh, flash drive there. Fells for a bit. You need for a quest early. Just keep that in mind. Now this is two-story dorms. There's only two ways to get into two-story dorms. You can go in on the second floor, like here. Now this is, um, there's uh, boxes in pretty much every room here. So there's like a weapon box there. I think it's either this one or the one further down. That's what's further down. This one here. There's two weapon crates there. But they're handy to know about. Running all the way down the other end. I always take the damage from this wire because I think it's worth it getting the filing cabinet. And there's two more filing cabinets here. The earlier when you're first starting to play, loot filing cabinets are crazy. And each single square is a different loot loot uh, place. So, you know, there's 12 squares of loot right there. Just for you guys. Coming down here. Duffel bag. Uh, weapon crate inside here. 
the guard desk key or the G desk key spawns in his hand and then there's obviously the scav there. I don't have the keys on me, but inside this room is a uh, safe. The bed can spawn a diary, flash drives, and some other rare items. In this room 114, which is the key that spawns in the back of that car that I told you about, there is a computer, a safe, and a med box, and it also has a quest objective in there that you uh, need for, on the uh, therapist storyline. This is the G-Desk. Um, there's a weapon spawn, I think, on the right, and then there's obviously the weapon crate and also the ammo crates. Once you get in there, that's pretty handy to know about. Over this side, there is the um, car here. Spawns grenades. Now, this is the second space that the uh, scav boss can spawn. Anytime scav boss spawns, if they're in the two-story dorms, I try and run around the back, grab grenades, and then throw them through the back windows. If they're on uh, three-story dorms, I try and run to the front. If you can get two grenades, this is how I do. I run straight to the front, making sure they're on second and third floor, so I just check quickly like that. I'll line up my gun to the top middle, and then just throw the grenade like this. Right? And if they're in that room, or in that hallway in the middle, they're dead. And it works exactly the same for the top two. It's a really handy way to drop two or three of the raiders, or the scab boss minions, straight up. Uh, for the for the two-story dorms, I don't have a spare grenade to show you the exact, but this is what I do for the two-story. And I found this works really well as well. Is I just come around to this window here. I aim for about there. It hits the glass and then it falls down. And it goes down the staircase and um, hits them right in the middle. They'll be right in that little bit in the middle right there and you usually get one or two there and if they're on the staircase they die as well <clears throat> moving over to the three-story dorm now this is pretty much the end of the run for us and i'll uh, be showing you most of the last bit here but inside here factory key spawns right there filing cabinet I'll show you everything on the bottom floor the filing cabinet in here now filing cabinets are really important early to get your keys right Another filing cabinet there. So all your dorms keys will spawn in filing cabinets. Um, and except for the marked key. Every other key will spawn in there. Nothing else really to worry about on the bottom floor. Second floor. Uh, the 204 key. is uh, got a safe here on the left. It's a weapon safe. So only the top bit actually has the money. Now 203 key you need for a quest. Now pretty much guys just assume that every single key you need. And hold on to it. All right? uh, inside this jacket. I think it's the right one. I'm going to get mistaken here. Oh, it's the left one. The left one, Every when you do your very first run of customs, grab one of these keys, chuck it in your container, and you'll need it for your second purport task. It's a handy one to know if you haven't already gotten up to it. Second floor, um, there's, there's options to go here. 214 has a safe in it. Uh, if you don't have the 203 key, but you've got the 214 key, inside the cup, the 203 key can spawn in there. Um... 220 room right here has uh, is needed for a quest. Hold on to that key. 218. If you get the 218 key, there's an AK spawn in there. It's not a big deal, but it's handy to know these things. Uh, weapon crate there, and obviously a weapon crate here. Third floor. Um, don't stress too much about the third floor, but um, besides one room in particular, nothing really to stress about here. The 303 key is really handy and easy to get. Um, there is an AK spawn in there. Running down here, the marked room. Uh, it's called the marked key. Inside there, there's a circle. All the top tier items in the game will spawn there. Like you can get ammo cases, docks cases, key bars, um, every single gun pretty much. It's coming out here. There is a weapon crate. A little cheeky thing you can do. Press F on the, the to search it. And as soon as you press F, press X straight away. You'll search it whilst prone. You won't have to worry about getting shot while you're trying to search it. These crates are good to have because you can find an AK just like this. Take it out. And there you go. Got yourself an AK. Little trick you got here if you want to jump down. Go into here. Ah. If you hear that hurting noise straight away, you're sweet, you can go down to the next one. But if you don't, run forward and back a sec until you actually take the damage. Because if you don't take that damage when you land to the ground, you'll break, break your legs. Over here is the car. This car is here. You can only extract by spawning on the um, custom side. And you need to bring 3,000 rubles, which you could have got from all the safes or the cash registers. Um, but if you do get an iron from dorms, you want to get a quick bug uh, extraction. You press F with the 3,000 rubles. It has a one-minute cooldown. You wait. You can wait in the cover. Wait 50 or 45 seconds, and then bam, run straight back here. Last 5, 10 seconds, and you're extracted. 
from there, guys, I'll show you one last spot, but it's not a big deal. Uh, it's just a handy thing to know. You can actually see into construction and on to uh, other locations quite handily and easily from up on this hill. So if you come over this way, jump up on the hill, um, you can get some good spots. You've just got to keep like moving around a little bit. You can see people as they're running along here, but if you run over here, you can actually see people as they come across and in. So if you're, you spawn in a good location, uh, you can get a good shot off. Also, if they're on top of that tower, remember I was talking about not overexposing on that tower, uh, using something with a scope. It's quite easy to pick people off if they go stationary up there. And uh, yeah, so guys, that's pretty much everything for this map. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I stream on Twitch six days a week. I go down to the link below. Give me a follow over there. If you need to talk questions, feel free to hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. Be sure to share this with any of your friends that are newer to Tarkov. I really want to help all those guys out there, particularly that are new to the game, so we can, one, help bolster the player base, but two, make it a more enjoyable experience for everyone. And lastly, guys, I'll see you next time. If it feels right, then aim for my heart. If you feel like and take me away, make it okay. Swear I'll behave.